But we've told you about him before, a local artist that likes to create paintings like the one we're about to show you, and he does this despite having Parkinson's disease. Yeah, now Danielle Cotterman gives us a personal look at the emotion evoked when he hand delivers those works of art to families who have lost a loved one in some of our country's most tragic moments. This got here. They've never met, but the work of local artist Ron Moore Jr. That's beautiful. Brought tears to the family of Scott and Karen Marshall. Scott growing up in nearby Beaver County, Pennsylvania. It touches my heart that somebody who didn't know them would do this for the family. The couple both served their country and were killed last year when a gunman opened fire at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Texas. And they went to this church to find a new church and that's where they went that first day and that's what happened. Tragedy that's filled the hearts of their family ever since. There's been a lot of milestones that they missed. But the work presented here today, a blessing passed on. And beforehand, it was all about myself, whatever I could do, whatever painting I could do to make myself more money. And then I made a promise like, God, if you just give me the ability to create artwork again, I'll, I'll use it to bless people more than raise money for myself. And that's what Ron Moore Jr. has done. Diagnosed with Parkinson's, he's spent countless hours sketching portraits of lives lost in some of our country's most tragic moments. What little bit of time it takes me to create a painting or a portrait, it's nothing compared to the amount of time that they're, gone, that they're left without their loved one. In all, Ron Moore Jr. sketched 27 portraits honoring those victims in that Texas church shooting. He'll visit that very church this coming Sunday to present those portraits to those victims' families. For WFMJ Today, I'm Danielle Cotterman.